Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning, we're gonna do a walkthrough of Keith's most recent build for the Shed Center. I'm really curious what they're gonna be using it for because here at the Shed Center, they make anything from chicken coops to custom cabins. One of the cool things they did a little different on this build was the wainscot. They went with a black wainscot and an ash gray sidewall metal but that black wainscot is textured. It's really cool. Kind of just adds a new dynamic to it with that textured, textured look. So I noticed Keith started using a different profile of trim on the corners and also on the rake. It's got these little ribs on the face and that keeps it from uh, oil canning. So like when you look down the edge of like the rake or the corner and the sun is shining on it. You know how some of the trims, you can see like the oil canning and stuff. This won't do that. So ash gray, ash gray sidewall and black wainscot with charcoal gray trim and a charcoal gray roof. What do you guys think of that color combination? So I'm gonna do a little test here on this wainscot and then on that Z transition flashing. I'm gonna see how straight that is down there. See see if we can find any uh see if we can find any little ups and downs. Absolutely perfectly straight. So he did the corners a little different on this job here. Usually this corner is all one piece. Since they used a standing seam wainscot, the Z flash sticks out a little bit farther so they had to join the corner flash like this. It still looks good. So if you've seen the last walkthrough we did, I mentioned that Keith uses all 2100 on his framing lumber. And man, it just gives the interior and the interior framing such a clean look. If you ever want to check on your builder or your building project to see if it's being built square, you can go along and check the metal and see if the ribs line up with the studs and same with the roofing metal. And as I'm looking at here, they are perfectly straight. The metal, it's a 66 by 80 and the metal is perfectly straight to the trusses. So I can see, so I can see he started from this side. That's the under lap. So he put this, this piece of metal down first and worked that way. There's the rib there with the truss. Let's go to the other side and take a look. Yep, exact. You can see it. So it's one thing to get the first piece on there square and straight but this building's 88 feet long and 88 divided by three, what is that, like 29? What about the end after the 29th piece of metal is on? I wonder how that looks. Okay, so let's take a look. There's the rib uh, right there. Okay, pretty much right on the edge. Let's take a look at this side. And I'm not sure if it's the lighting or the shadow, but maybe it's over like a quarter inch maybe. But that's it. Ribs line up. Man, that is perfect. Pretty much perfect. Let's go back outside and take a look at the metal. Okay, let's take a look at this, at the Eve metal here and see if it runs parallel uh, to the wall and to the Eve trim and see if there's any jagged edges or see if there are any pieces that were staggered and make sure it's perfectly straight. Let's take a look. So you guys probably can't see that near as well as I can, but I'm looking up here and it looks perfectly straight, perfectly straight. Oh, and this is the other thing. Uh, I see a lot of different ways people do their J trim around the doors. What do you guys think of this? Is this method fairly standard in your area? 
I think that just gives the uh, trim such a nice clean look when it's cut at a 45 like that. So anyway, those are some ways you can check to see if your building is square after you complete it or if you want to run a little double check on your builder and see if he's building it square. Those are just some easy ways to quickly tell in a couple minutes if the building is square or not. So hey guys, what do you think of this build and the color choices? What do you think about the black Wayne's coat, textured Wayne's coat? So let's go in here and take a look at this little thing here. I'm really curious what they're gonna be using this for. They have that big old building over there and they do all kinds of, oh, hey Joe, just in hey. time. How's it going? It's going good. Just doing a little walkthrough of the uh, build here yeah. that Keith did for you. Curious what you're gonna be doing with it. Cause dude, I see all your, wait, what are those sheds over there? Oh, those are cabooses. <laughs> they Caboose, do everything. Cabees, something. <laughs> There's everything from chicken coops to custom cabins, but yeah, what, what are you going to be using? Uh, what are well, you gonna real be using quick, for? I'm Joe with the Shed Center at Bonners Ferry. We build portable buildings and we specialize in custom and unique. So our entire facility is based on quality and flow. We just we keep a lot of buildings moving through as we build them, and when we get a heavily customized building, it slows the flow down in our main shop. So this shop will be all of our double wide garages, horse barns, and heavily customized buildings. So Joe has a uh, custom shed he wants to show us out front and that's what they're gonna be using this for. So let's go take a look. Joe just brought me over here where they have some of their custom sheds and just kind of unique custom orders they have here. And look at some of these. These are really, really cool. Really cool sheds. What about, what about this one here, Joe? This one here would actually be a fairly basic shed. It's got a dormer, it's got some uh, shutters, you know, dress it up a little bit. Right down here, uh, this would be a, a shed that we would build in the regular flow building. It's a basic, moves it on through. The next one is a little more custom. There's a lot of extras on here with lap siding and special colors to match the customer's house, dormers. That one is completely permitted, engineered, stamped, everything for delivery down in a, a large city. It meets all the building codes. So this here is a 16 by 28. Kind of a cool little build. I need this for a cabin. Yeah. So it'll max out on the trailer at 16 foot 2 on maximum height as it's going down the road. And the eaves are going to be 16 foot 6. So it's a pretty big load going down the road. Yeah. If you're looking for a custom cabin or a small shop, portable building, Joe here at the Shed Center is the guy to talk to. You can pretty much do anything you want. They got some really creative stuff here. It's pretty cool. We can do it based on our quality building that we had built by coverage contractors. We love them. Looks like they got a load ready to head out here. So I talked with Joe a little bit and they're gonna be using this front portion here as the office. Well, that's a wrap guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, smash that like button. And if there's a video you'd like to see in the future, drop it down in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.